Hey, Summers. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Make Two. So, in our 20k subscriber thank you video, we said that we were gonna do some subscriber shoutouts or shoutouts for viewers who've been kind of above and beyond recently, and we were gonna do those on the weekends. So, here's our first one. So we first wanted to shout out Amy, who has been leaving some really supportive and lovely comments on our Lego minifigures online Let's Play. Thank you so much for that, Amy. And second, shout out to Cassie, who has been a really devout follower of our Minecraft Let's Build series as well as Lego. So thanks so much for all the wonderful, sweet comments. Thank you so much. And then finally, we wanted to shout out Sim Dream, who some of you might already know, but she's got a YouTube channel where she goes through a lot of her fantastic original house designs and does tours of them. And yeah, basically they are all amazing. And she just hit 1,000 subscribers on her channel. Congratulations! And you guys should all go and check her out. We've left a link in the video description below, so you can do that. So in this video, we're actually kicking off something a little bit different. There are, as you can see, three houses on this property. And what we're going to do is one house in this video. We're going to do a second house in next weekend's video and the third house in a video the weekend after that. So I know that this probably doesn't sound quite ideal to you guys, but trust me, each of these houses is pretty big and complicated and I think it's fair to put one house per video. Yeah, I mean, if you'd put these on a standard lot, you would have filled up three standard lots. Yeah. You even could have filled up, with a yard, each of these could have taken up a premium lot yeah. by itself. So I think, uh, yeah, you really squeezed in the properties here. Well, that was part of the challenge for me. So basically, we have been using a few more kind of real-life inspired houses and house plans and trying to build real houses in Sims Freeplay. These houses, as you can see, they're shaped a little weirdly. They're based actually on a real life house style that I grew up around in the Southeast United States. Basically, these types of houses are set side on so that the narrow side faces the street and the front door is here, but then it opens onto a long porch, which you get the main entrance to the house, you'll see in a bit. And then also on top of that, first floor porch, you get a second floor balcony and even perhaps a third floor balcony all lined up along the longer side of the house. And so I found some house plans for some real life houses in this style and I liked three of them. And then I thought, you know, <laughs> actually I could fit three of them on a single premium size lot. And so that's what I challenged myself to do and I did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that you could have made one of these just much bigger, but then I think there's a danger in Sims Free Play that things just look too empty. Yeah. So you want to keep them compact enough that they feel like a real home, uh, even if the proportions are actually a bit strange uh, compared to how they would be in real life. And these are indeed compact. So let's go ahead and do this one. This is in a more modern style, so the thing about these houses is that they're kind of historical but i wanted to do one house in a style that was a bit modern like as if you know a family had moved in and updated the old traditional style to be something more um, up to date this is the front door as i said it goes into this porch which runs along the side of the house and I'll put this park bench here but i kind of imagine it in my head to be a swinging what's the porch mm -hmm. swing porch swing yeah so the actual door to the house opens here and the entryway goes straight across to the staircase to the upstairs but then you can go on one side and enter the living room so again this is fairly modern it's got the uh one of the new rugs from the designer rugs event which recently happened in the game and yeah basically just modern furnace other trimmings Going back along this way, this is the formal dining room. And you can also enter directly into the kitchen. So the way that these houses are typically laid out is you have a rather large kitchen, but then the kitchen area is also open onto what's called a gathering space or a gathering room. So that basically means it's an informal place for the family to gather while 
cooking is happening over here. And so I tried to signify that with these two couches and rocking chair and this lovely fireplace here. I think this room is absolutely awesome. Cool. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's one of my favorites as well. I, I think it's just a really nice kind of cozy way for a family to live. Yeah. So, off the back of there, you get into a narrow hallway. You can go along this direction and then enter the master bedroom here. Oh. Yeah. So, the master bedroom is decorated in kind of a blue and white style. It's a bit narrow, of course, because it has to fit inside the house, but I still had room for the rather large <laughs> vanity, which yeah. was one of the prizes from the Glitz and Glam update. And then there's a closet here, and then back here is the master bathroom suite. I mentioned in a previous video that we just did recently that I've been trying to do some experimentation with bathrooms where you've got a bit more private space for the shower and toilet areas. So yeah, I've done that as well here. And further along this narrow back hallway, you get a couple of doors. One opens onto this office space, very small and snug. Yeah, and I imagine this would have been something like a coal room Yes. back in the day. Yeah. So the original oh. house, as you said, yeah, this would have been where, I don't know, uh, utility or coal, like you said, maybe maids would come in here and have their whatevers. <laughs> <laughs> How descriptive. How descriptive, yeah. Anyway, also across the hallway here is the small guest bathroom, just the toilet and sink, and then over here is the laundry room. And then there's a back door to get to the yard. So then going over here to the staircase to the upstairs. That opens onto this hallway here. That hallway then stretches along the length of the house, but let's go in this direction first. We've got a bedroom at the front of the house here, and that has room for a long closet here. That bedroom also has a door onto the balcony which stretches on the second floor, and that also has doorways into the hallway here. This is a bathroom for the family on this floor. Huh, I like what you did with the, the separating of the rooms to give the effect of there being columns. I like that effect as yeah. well, yeah. And I like having basically the tub underneath the window as well. Mm. And further along the hallway, you can duck this way into a bit of a reading room. Basically, it's just a little nook off of the hallway where I put a couple of armchairs and a bookcase and this lovely lamp here. And this is the bedroom for, let's say, a preteen or teenage boy. That also has room for a closet and a little nook over here for his computer. And his room opens onto a shared bathroom with another bedroom that we'll show in a second. And off of there is, again, a small separate room for toilet and shower. So, as I said, there's another bedroom on this floor. This is for an older child, a teenage girl, I would say. She has a small nook here for her desk and tablet computer, and then her doorway opens onto the shared bathroom here. Hmm. But this girl has the benefit of also a special sunroom here. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's hard to tell, but and this... And a balcony. Yes. So it's hard to tell, but this sunroom actually is all the way around windows, so you can see it from this view, probably. I think huh. because the room is so small and narrow that the game, it's kind of hard to see it from different angles, but if you look at it from this view, you can see the windows go all around. And yeah, as you said, she gets her own private balcony as well, so she is a very well-treated little girl. Mm-hmm. She does better than the master bedroom. <laughs> Maybe I should have thought that through, but I also <laughs> wanted the master bedroom to be on the ground floor in this one, so yeah. But yeah. I might, you know, could change it up. Uh, and then this is the view from the roof of this house. That looks so nice. Yeah, I think the the uh, gathering room in the kitchen downstairs and the corridor on the second floor really give, I think that give the structure mm -hmm. to the, the building that's like the bones of the thing. Yeah. And I will link in the video description to the architectural plans that I used so that you guys can see, you know, how I did my best adapting, hopefully. But yeah, 
that is the first house of the three on the property. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour. And by the way, this house is in your town, Sims Peaks. Yes. Um, and unfortunately, we're not accepting neighbors for that town right now, so hopefully this video tour will suffice. So if you're new to our channel, please feel free to subscribe because we have obviously more Sims Replay videos on the way. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.